Alright, so you've just finished building your new gaming PC, but it needs an operating system. In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Windows 10 on your new PC and also how to activate it. Quick summary before we start, just so you know what we're doing, we're using a program from Microsoft to put Windows onto a USB flash drive, which will then plug into our new PC. We can then boot from that flash drive and install Windows on our new machine. From there, you can either use Windows completely free if you can live with the watermark, or you can activate it for $13 from today's video sponsor, B.O.B. Keys, but more on that later. By the way, if you want to skip to any parts of this video, I've added chapters. Let's do this. Alright, so you're going to need two things. Access to a laptop or PC. This is so we can download Windows 10 and create our bootable drive. The second thing is a USB flash drive that has a minimum capacity of 8GB. Also, bear in mind we will essentially be wiping this flash drive, so make sure it's not got anything important on it. Type download Windows 10 into Google and click the first result, or just go straight to this web address, or click the link in the description. It'll bring you to a page with a button that says download tool now. Click that to download the Windows Media Creation Tool. This is a program that will allow us to create a bootable USB drive that has Windows 10 on it. Once that's downloaded, run the program, you'll have to accept the terms of agreement, and then you'll come to this screen. It's going to ask you what you want to do. Click the second option, create installation media for another PC. The next screen will ask you which language, edition and architecture you want to use. You can just leave that all default unless you think you need to change something like the language. Next, it'll ask us which media we want to use. We're using a USB flash drive, so it'll be option one. By the way, before you click next, plug in the USB flash drive because we'll need it ready for the next step. So on this screen, you just select the USB flash drive you want to install Windows to. Hit next and then go make a coffee while you wait for Windows 10 to download and install itself onto the USB flash drive. Congratulations, you just made yourself a bootable USB drive with Windows 10 on it. Now before we proceed, a word of caution. If you only have one storage drive in your new system, say an M.2 SSD, you don't need to worry about what I'm going to say next. However, if you have two or more drives installed in your PC, say for example an M.2 SSD and a 3.5 inch hard drive, I would highly recommend you disconnect all of the drives other than the one you want to install your operating system onto before proceeding to install Windows. There are two reasons for this, one it will make sure we get a clean install on our primary drive, and two you won't accidentally end up wiping your second drive assuming of course it had stuff on it, maybe from another PC. Okay, so now that's out of the way, grab your bootable USB drive, plug it into one of the USB ports on your new PC, turn it on, and it should boot from that flash drive, after which you will see the Windows setup screen. If you got to this point, you're on the home straight. On this first screen, just double check to make sure the language is correct and hit next. Click the install now button. Now this next menu is going to ask you for a product key. If you've already got one, you can enter it here, otherwise just click I don't have a product key. We can activate Windows after the installation. From here you just need to choose which edition of Windows you want to install, I'd recommend going with Windows 10 Pro, and actually if you're using the exact method that I'll show you later to activate Windows, you need to choose Windows 10 Pro because we'll be using a Windows 10 Pro license key. You can't for example install Windows Home and then upgrade to Pro, it just doesn't work like that. We're going to be asked what type of installation we want, upgrade or custom, we're going to go with the second option, custom, because this is a fresh installation. Now on the next screen you'll be asked to choose where you want to install Windows 2, of course we only have one drive connected so there is only one option. If you do still have multiple drives connected, obviously make sure you choose the right one. And that's basically it, Windows 10 will install itself, the only thing you'll have left to do is just run through the final part of the setup which includes stuff like connecting to the internet and signing into your Microsoft account. And that's it, you can use Windows 10 now, completely free, however that's assuming you can live with this watermark in the bottom right corner of the screen, which by the way will display over everything including games. If you want to get rid of that, you'll need a license key. Now if you were to go straight to Microsoft, you'd pay $200. If that doesn't sound appealing, good news, you can get one from B.O.B. Keys, today's video sponsor, for $13. And I always get questions like, oh I don't know if it's going to work, is it a scam? So what I thought I'd do is take the opportunity to go undercover and buy one myself. So we're going to add Windows 10 Pro to our basket, I'm going to make a brand new account on B.O.B. Keys, I'm going to go to checkout, add my code TT25 for 25% off, and I'm going to pay via PayPal. Now after you've completed payment, you can head over to the user center, click on my purchased orders, and there you'll see your purchase along with a button that says view key. If you can't see that button yet, don't worry, you just need to wait for it to say order completed in the status column. It's usually pretty quick, but yeah, just a heads up. 
Anyway, click the view key button, copy the 25 character code, this is our license key. Head to Windows activation settings, if you don't know where that is you can just type activate into your Windows search bar to bring it up. Click change product key, paste in your license key and hit enter. And there we go, Windows is now successfully activated, no more watermark. Now the first key I actually purchased from B.O.B. Keys was back in October and it's still working completely fine on my PC, no issues whatsoever. If you do want to pick one up, click the link in the description and don't forget to use code TT25 for 25% off your order. Yeah, there we have it guys, it's honestly pretty easy, I know people can get worried about the Windows installation part because it might seem difficult but it's really not. If you've got any questions by the way, feel free to drop them in the comments or just say hi. If this video is helpful, a like rating would be much appreciated, it helps the channel out and subscribe for more content. I've got an awesome PC upgrade coming soon, so stay tuned. You can catch me on social media at Tech Tesseract. But with that being said, hope you guys have an awesome week. I'll catch you all in the next one.